What's up, guys? How's it going? This is David, Mr. Gideon, and today I wanted to talk about the best method for farming for your lost prophecies. Um, if you didn't know, uh, you get those from Brother Vance, and you get a weapon out of it. And I think I know a little bit about it because I have the pulse rifle, the hand cannon, and the scout rifle, and I'm currently working on the next. Uh, Lost Prophecy. But the reason why I wanted to make a video is because um, it's really grindy um, to get the materials that you that you need, and the most common material that I've found in it is the Radio Laren, and you get that through public events. Um, I don't know why, but it seems like everything uh, with this game is. Republicans. Um, but yeah, uh, so I found the best place to do public events is on the EBZ because, well, first it's the flashpoint for this week, so there's already going to be a lot of people on it. And there are so many different. Um, spawn points for public events that it seems as if you're constantly doing public events. There's really time where I'm just like sitting around, you know, holding my hand. Um, that's fine. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's rare that you're not doing a public event, and so that's you know obviously that's that's going to be the best thing is you're consistently, not consistently, we're constantly doing public events, and um, that and also surprisingly the loot chest, um, oh wow, that's a lot of stuff. The loot chest is a really really good method, uh, or um, a method for a resource to utilize while also doing these public that's events. Um, because I've, I've gotten, um, if you see the radio, whatever it's called, the green ones, I've actually, um, seen people get blue ones, um, which is what you need for the, for the blue boxes. I mean, not the blue boxes, the lost prophecies. You need the blue ones. Um, and I just said it, that wall right there. Guys, don't let me revive them. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> wow. We need help with the video, guys. But um, but yeah. Um, you can acquire the blue ones, and then you don't have to farm for ten to fuse them together or whatever with uh, brother Van, uh, Vance. So it does make it a bit easier that way. So doing public events, and then if there is a moment while you're waiting for the public events. Look around for the chest, um, or oh, I just got a blue one from that event. Let's go! You see, guys? Let's go! <laughs> That's perfect timing. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, so you get the radio in. You get it from public events and looting the chest. Um. I have actually gotten, what's it called, the, something, the green one, yeah this one, I've gotten this from doing Nightfalls and Heroic Strikes, I've yet to get a Lost Prophecy that you need it this for, um, like I guess you do Trials of the Nine, you can get it too, the Trials of the Nine yet, uh, and then the Paradox is a really grindy one too. Um, you can just do uh, regular strikes, I guess, and um, crucible. And then I actually got the majority of mine from helping friends do the uh, heroic adventures. Um, yeah, I think you get. I was getting on average uh, two at a time for doing the heroic adventures. Um, but yeah. Uh, I hope I helped. I hope that you guys can utilize this while there's, you know, a, a bigger um, 
audience of people playing Destiny for the next week or two. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, look, okay, so we just finished that event. And then there's one here, and there's one here, 40 seconds away. We'll just go here. By the time we load in, it'll probably be started already. Um, yeah, it's, I guess it's just going slower because I'm trying to make the video. But yeah, you see it's here. There's already a person here. I guarantee you um, by the time it spawns up or while I'm doing it, um, like three more people will show up. Um, that's a cool thing too is since the, the community is popular because of the DLC coming out now, um, there's a lot of people playing and so you can get to them um, whether they're like have been started or not. Um, it seems like uh, you can still get to them in time, like you can, you can still risk it. I'm reading a skip with glimmer mining equipment Hello. Guardian. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's that. Um, if you would like to see, like, all of the Lost Prophecy weapons that I get, or like, gameplay for them, or review on them, because I only have these three, but I'm definitely going to be grinding, um, a lot to get all of them. Like, I've already, uh, I've already put like 15 hours in yesterday and <laughs> slept for like 4 hours and I've been getting a lot of legendary drops too. I don't know if that's just me or you guys are getting it too, but I noticed they definitely increased those and wow, um, they definitely uh, I think decreased the exotic drops. Um, I know that sounds crazy, because uh, they had been like spoon feeding exotics to everybody, but for some reason, like, I, like I said, I, I, okay, like, I'm at, my power level is 322, so like, I've been playing a crap ton, and I've probably only gotten three exotics maybe, and none of them have been new ones, they've all been repeats of stuff that I've had, which is highly unfortunate. Um, but, <laughs> nevertheless, uh, Donnie, um, see that instant featherback, the cheat codes, but <laughs> I'm just rambling on now. Yeah, if you want to see any of the Lost Prophecy weapons, uh, let me know. I'll probably end up making a review video. I probably won't review all of them, because, uh, thus far, I really, really hate this pulse rifle. The scout rifle is okay, but it, it's kind of eh, because it's like a slow rate of fire, uh, high impact one. I usually have a tendency to like the quick rate of fire ones. Uh, the hand cannon is nice though. I have been um, using, I use it in Crucible for a couple matches and it, it, it has pretty good hit registration and consistency and everything. But yeah, just let me know. Um, and I guess I'll see you in the next video.